everybody. It's me, Stell, from Stellworks Studio. Welcome to our first episode of This Old Face. <laughs> I know, I'm not terribly old. I'll be 37 this year. Um, and I do have a um, unspecified connective tissue disorder that supposedly gives me unusually youthful skin. I know it does not look great right now because... I just woke up and I don't do anything with my face usually so but what I am going to show you today are some um, it's kind of it's, it's a vintage beauty routine it doesn't include any makeup this is all just skincare so so I'm going to show you vintage skincare that you can still get now um, and kind of how you would incorporate that into your um, into your day to day, um, especially if you're doing any kind of like um, vintage makeup or um, you know, uh, I w don't want to say living history, but like um, you know, demonstrations showing people what things were like a hundred years ago. I we're about there. Um, so, the first thing that I would do, say that I'm just getting up in the morning. I did my nightly skincare routine the night before, so I'm just getting up. Um, and so, what I want to do before I put on my makeup would be to use, here's my vintage bottle, Dickinson's Witch Hazel Lotion which is a, it's a toner and you can still get it. I believe I bought this at Walmart. There we are. I'm just going to use a, you know, a cotton ball or a cotton round and it definitely smells alcoholic because <laughs> that's pretty much what it is. Um, but witch hazel is a, um, soothing botanical so I'm just going to use that on my face to get kind of get rid of any oil or, you know, anything that has gotten stuck on my face overnight. You know, because when you sleep on a pillowcase, you have skin oils on there. You've got dead skin, spell, skin, skin cells. <laughs> that kind of stuff. Actually, what I would have done before this is to run a wet washcloth over my face and you'll find out why when we get to the end all right so that's that step one done um step two would be to use a moisturizing lotion of some sort now what i don't i don't have a pond's moisturizing lotion that is what I would use if I was going vintage. I would get Pond's. Um, the smell is a little difficult to get used to, but once you get used to it, you kind of like it. <laughs> um, and then the last step before makeup for me would be good old petroleum jelly. And I know that, you know, there are lip balms everywhere that are you know they're trying to get away from using petroleum jelly but for moisturizing your lips let me tell you I haven't found anything better everything else makes my lips peel so the only thing that you could do to make it better I think is to add a little lanolin Okay, so say I've done all of my makeup and I'm getting ready for taking the makeup off and getting ready for the night. So what your first step would be for that is good old Pond's cold cream. And if you want to see the vintage, here's the, here's the old Pond's jar. Oh my gosh, that light is bright. So there's there's our vintage 
Pond's cold cream jar. My gosh, what is up with the light? There we go. So I may transfer this at some point into there. So with the Pond's and like I said, it it's a smell that takes you get getting used to. I think it's supposed to smell like violets. I can't smell violets, so I wouldn't know. But um, it's a it's a very light floral scent and it doesn't take a whole lot even if you've got really heavy makeup you know how we, they say to do oil cleansing with makeup well this is that's what this does this is an oil cleanser but it's in cream form so you're just spreading that all over anywhere that you've got makeup get it in all the cracks and creases it's safe to go over your eyes it's not gonna burn or anything like that it will take off your waterproof mascara it, awesome okay so you get that all over and did you ever wonder why off-brand kleenex is called facial tissue it's not because your nose is on your face and you're blowing your nose Facial tissue was actually used not as a handkerchief alternative, but as something to wipe your face off. So you would put your cold cream on and then you would take your facial tissues and you would wipe it off. Well, I would much rather just use a wet wash rag. So that's what I'm doing right now is just wiping it all off. And if I had makeup on, I would have used a lighter colored a washcloth just to show you how fast and easy it is to get your makeup off like don't bother buying makeup remover wipes it's just a waste of time and money and makeup artists will tell you it's bad for your skin anyway um, the washcloth that I'm using right now is a microfiber washcloth and I just use that because it does act as a gentle exfoliant for me. Um, however, if you need to do a deeper exfoliation, um, now would be the time to do it. And this would be like a, a double cleanse. Um, you know, you've done your oil cleanser. Now you're going to do your, like, cleaning cleanser, you know? Really clean your skin. And um, what I like for cleaning off my skin is Classic Palm Olive Bar Soap. And I get this in a three-pack from the dollar store. So... It's this lovely green bar, and it's it's got such a nice scent. I don't know if it smells the same as the dish detergent, but I love it. And um, it suds up really nice and creamy. And I'll just suds it up in my hands, spread the suds over my face, let it sit for a couple seconds, and then rinse it off. Uh, what soap does, and I'm not sure why soap got such a bad rap for using on your face. Um, it's not going to strip away any more of your skin oils than anything else that you use to wash your face with. No like foaming cleanser with moisturizing whatever's is going to be any gentler. And what soap does is it loosens the bond between your skin, your, your live skin layer and the dead bits that need to come off that are stuck on with your skin oil. So that's all exfoliation does is sloughs off those skin cells after that bond has been loosened. It's a lot harder to do if you don't loosen that bond first, which is why we use detergents. But soap does the same thing, and you combat any drying that the soap does with your moisturizer and with your oil cleanser. It's not 
a big deal. So I'll just take my palm olive and I'll suds it up, spread it over my face, rinse it off. And then, um, especially if I'm in the shower when I do this, um, after a minute or two of having, you know, the, the steam from the shower, I'll just start rubbing my face. And, um, a lot of those skin cells that have gotten loosened will just start to roll off and I can feel them underneath my, my fingers. Now, if you do it, if you, if you're washing your face every single night, that's not going to happen because your, um, washcloth will take care of that, um, as you're, as you're wiping off your, your product, that exfoliation will happen naturally and you won't have a lot of buildup. Now, if you are like me and you have hyperkeratosis in areas of your face, I know a lot of us get, um, like big plaque, plaque flakes in our eyebrows, along the creases of our nose, and then in our ears, like, ugh, I've got one right there, yuck. Anyway, <laughs> I also get them up in my hairline. I get them all over my head, but in my hairline is where they tend to be noticeable. Um, this is where my night routine comes in handy. For our night routine, we're going to use good old Nagzima. Isn't that a sweet vintage lid. It's all like Art Nouveau. I wish I had the label. It's, I, you know, just got the classic cobalt blue jar right now, but I just, I love that one. I've got others that aren't anywhere near as cool. I wish they'd bring back the Art Nouveau labeling. <laughs> so, you know, good old Noxzema. I've got the moisturizing, um, formula. I don't know why. My skin is naturally moisture rich anyway, so I could use the, the classic one with all of the eucalyptus and menthol in it. I think this one is lacking menthol. It's very, well, maybe not. It's very eucalyptus -y though. Um, but what Noxzema is, it's basically, it's a, an emulsion of water and oil and um it's kind of it's hardened with stearate which is what makes animal fats solid um it's also used in candles to make candles hard it's just it's a uh it's an a um wax acid something like that anyway stearic acid um and then it's got all of their like you know botanicals um, mainly eucalyptus and menthol. So anyway, for our night treatment, we're just going to take a little bit of our Noxzema and spread it all over. And it doesn't take a lot. Just a little, you know, I just put a little bit on my fingertips and I'm going to put this all over my face and especially in those problem areas for flakies. And, um, I'm told that even if you don't have like those kind of problems or you have dry skin, this definitely helps with dry skin. So you can, you, you can still see the Noxzema all over my face, right? What you're going to do is we're going to just kind of let it sit. And if you let it sit for a few minutes. It kind of like dries and gets a little tacky. I'm going to still keep talking at you while I do this. It dries and gets a little tacky and you just keep rubbing it. And eventually it'll vanish into your skin. You won't see it. You'll still smell it. <laughs> that good old classic Noxzema smell. Um, but it won't, it won't feel like goop all over your face. And you are just going to sleep with that Noxzema on your face. Um, and then in the morning when you wake up, you'll take that wet washcloth or you'll hop in the shower and you will just 
rinse that off and then you can start right back over with that Dickinson's witch hazel real quick before you put on your moisturizer and then you're ready to go with your makeup so I hope that um, was informative <laughs> I'll give you guys another another one um, soon on some vintage makeup um, I focus on the 1920s and 30s with my makeup which is fun a little bit of the 40s um, just because when I was when I was researching this I was um, looking at stuff that your typical farm wife would have um, during the time that the countryside was just getting electricity um, because I used to be a member of a group that did a lot of um, pre-electric farming um, restoration and um, demonstration um, for their show that they do in the summer, which was a lot of fun for me. I got to, you know, focus on, I got to research fashion for, you know, the everyday person rather than just, you know, high fashion, um, which was a lot of fun learning about just, you know, 1920s house dresses and 1930s, um, you know, depression fashion, um, and what, what your everyday person would wear. So I learned a bit about makeup and hair, and I, I think I will probably do a couple more episodes on that. And then we'll do some other stuff. Like, you know, I, I have a fascination with dollar store makeup, mainly because I can get wet and wild stuff from the dollar store. <laughs> and it's only a buck, and I can play with it. So um, we'll see if, you know, I can do something about my, you know, old face. This old face here. Yeah. <laughs> this is what happens when you get old. It's all right. We just get, you know, jowls. And if you try and get rid of them, then you do make, make funny shapes with your mouth. And you don't want to do that. So let's just deal with it, right? Right. So, it was nice having you here. And if you enjoyed this, please give me a like. And if you'd like to see more videos, it's not always about this. Mostly it's not. I usually do a lot of sewing, crafts, uh, pottery, and um, stuff outside. And uh, I, would, I would appreciate a subscribe. And if you want notifications, there's that little notification bell down there. And I may go through and leave links for the, the, the items that I use. But like I said, you can get most of this stuff at any drugstore. And even the dollar store, like my palm olive. I can't find that anywhere else. So, it's nice having you here. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you later. Bye.